I'm a father first. I'm a friend. I try to extend what was extended to me as a young man. There were really good men in my life who took me under their wings and treated me as a son, treated me, they were a mentor, they were a leader, they showed me what mentorship is, they taught me what leadership is, they taught me the responsibility of giving back and giving back to the community. People took care of me when I was younger, when I, I grew, you know, I didn't come from, a, I came from a parentless home. I could have gone this way or went this way, but I went this way because I had people saying, hey, this is your path, not down there, this is your path. So, I, it's, it's what I have to do. Julian Virgin. All my kings, queens, princes, and princesses, Julian Virgin, live on location, joined here by the one and only co-founder of Atlanta Guys Dinner Group, my friend, Sean Polani. Sean, not how you doing, but how are you living? Living good, bro. I'm living good. What does your good look like, man? I interview a lot of people and they always say good, but like specifically, what does your good look like? I wake up with a smile on my face every day. I wake up to two beautiful, healthy twin boys. I get surrounded by a great group of guys once a month. I love my job. I love my life. Life is good, man. Life is good. I'm healthy. I get to sit next to you. It's wins all over, man. So we're here right now at this wonderful uh, pizza joint on the Beltline, Auburn Nina Avenue. Raffies. Nina and Raffi's. We're at Nina and Raffi's for uh, our gathering for Atlanta Guys Dinner Group, which happens once a month. Once a month, yep. Usually one Monday a month or an alternative Tuesday. We switch it up. Uh, try to be fair to make sure we can get as many people as there as possible. This is a beautiful restaurant, a beautiful night. Uh, how many guys showed up tonight? 24. We had 24. I think last time, the first time I came, it was around like it was in the 40s, man. We usually average anywhere between 20 to 26. So the one that you came to was a very good turnout. Indeed. So this is the Atlanta We're Guys dinner group. How would you describe the Atlanta Guys dinner group? That is a great question. So we are a very diverse, inclusive group of guys who get together once a month to break bread and give back. So just like we select a different restaurant to dine at and support each month, we also select a different nonprofit charity or cause to support each month as well. Tonight was number 48. Tonight was our 48th partnership. 48 times you've done this, you've gathered. Formally, we've done this. Formally. Informally, there was probably about a dozen and a half to two dozen times. Now the 48 plus all the inform informalities, the things that you didn't count, man. My biggest ask to you is why? Why is this important to you? Why is gathering and breaking bread with other men at different restaurants around the city of Atlanta important? That is a great question. There are a lot of people out there who need assistance and who don't know about the resources available to them, don't know how to ask for help, don't want to ask for help. We as a group collectively have access to a lot of resources. So we figured, let's why not get together, let's pool those resources and help those in need. From a personal standpoint, every time I come, I always meet a, a, a new gentleman. I always come to a wonderful new restaurant I was never exposed to and taste cuisine that I've never tasted before, and I appreciate that. While I talk to every guy that's here, I ask them who bought you, and, and I would say 98% of them say Sean Polani, and they talk about how great of a man you are. How does it feel that... Um, a wide group of men view you in such a high position and, and what kind of responsibility is that for you? Well, first of all, thank you. And that's very humbling. I'm as good as the people I surround myself with. And these are the guys I surround myself, including yourself on a monthly basis. So I'm only as good as the guys I surround myself with. And I've learned that a lot later in my life. I wish I knew that when I was younger, because I would have made better choices. But with those choices, I end up here, right? There's a reason for everything. So I'm here for a reason. It's humbling. It's very humbling, and I'm and I'm and thank thank you for saying that. And again, I'm only as good as the people I surround myself with. Um, that's all I can say. You know, it's it's what we do. You know, I met Sean Polani when I was a 20, 21 year old working at Bar Taco, just uh, hustling. I was I was really hustling and slinging tacos. <laughs> I was slinging tacos, man. I was eager. One thing I always respected about you, you always struck me as just somebody that was real and somebody that just, you know, uh, acknowledged somebody who was, who was hungry and you wanted to put me in position to win. And I've always appreciated that about you. But, Sean, I, I'm curious about who Sean Polani is, man, and, and, and what makes the man that's sitting here next to me. 
I'm a father first. I'm a friend. I tried to extend what was extended to me as a young man. There were really good men in my life who took me under their wings and treated me as a son, treated me, they were a mentor, they were a leader, they showed me what mentorship is, they taught me what leadership is, they taught me the responsibility of giving back and giving back to the community. People took care of me when I was younger, when I, I you know, I didn't come from, a, I came from a parentless home. I could have gone this way or went this way, but I went this way because I had people saying, hey, this is your path, not down there, this is your path. So, I, it's, it's what I have to do. It seems like you're a foodie at heart too, man. Every time I see you, man, every time I see your posts on Instagram, any, anytime I'm here at Atlanta Guys Dinner Group, it's like, it's all surrounded by food, man. What, what is that passion driven by? And how would you describe what you do on a day-to-day -day basis? So, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm a restaurant consultant in private practice, and I also work for a large distributor. So I help restaurants, and especially now, we're trying to help restaurants make it keep their doors open. Food is my life. Food is a connector. It brings people together. I've been in the food industry since I was 14 years old. It fed me. It nourished me. It raised me. It taught me a lot. I've been able to travel and live all over the United States because of what I do. I love what I do. And again, I mean, bread brings people together. It's our connector. It's our bridge builder. It's so unique how just having a meal with somebody else could just make, make that person just family. As as we are tonight, the, instantly over a, over a appetizer, over a, the main course, the main entree. Now, Sean, moving forward, as you continue to grow and develop into the man that you are today, man, what are some goals that you have looking forward? I know the year just turned; it's 2022 now. Let's, you know, just looking forward as your kids become older, what are some things that you really hope and are intentional about moving forward? My boys need to grow up as good men. They know to respect others. Diversity is in their blood. They don't know one thing or another. They know a whole group. They know an everything. They know that they need to be good men. And that's my goal, to raise good, two good humans. And they're on that path. They're very social. They love people. They've got great palates. I exposed them to restaurants at seven weeks old when they got their first shots, went to a Korean barbecue restaurant. So they know how to act in a restaurant. They know how to say thank you. They know their manners. They love and appreciate life. They love and appreciate people it's like, like I do. So I just want them to do well in life. Now, Sean, on a personal level, I'm on my own journey. I'm 27 right now. I'm continuing just, it's trial and error. And you, you were 27 at a time, man. Not only just to me, but what would you tell 27-year-old Sean Polani in order to, to, to make sure that he was on the best track possible. Keep your head on straight, surround yourself with better people, people that are better to you, ask questions, learn. Don't stop learning, because when you stop learning, you stop breathing. Again, surround yourself with people who motivate you, who want the best for you, and challenge you. If I didn't know anything about Atlanta Guys Dinner Group, why should I pull up to the next one? You're gonna be surrounded by some of the most amazing men you'll ever meet. You're gonna have a really good meal and you're going to want to come back to the next one like they all do. <laughs> 50 gatherings is on the horizon coming up in March. Sean, we're breaking down. The restaurant is uh, closing up. You see all the servers over here uh, working diligently so they can get home to their lovely families. Final thoughts, what do you want to leave me with here today? Love you. You're an amazing human being. Love supporting you. Love watching you do your thing. Keep doing it, brother. We're going to support you. Support a hustler. That's the, that's the motto. That's the mantra. Again, Sean Polani, co-founder of Atlanta Guys Dinner Group. If you don't know, now you know. It's been my honor to just even be a part of this group. And I, I appreciate you for, for just being so consistent in inviting me over and 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 over again to where I can experience this, man. It, don't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. And we're going to continue to do it again. Julian Virgin joined here by Sean Polani. It's been my honor. Until the next time.